All right. So a while ago, uh, Chara made this tweet, and uh, oh, it's, it's oh, it's deleted. Well, pretty much, he was asking about black level for Splatoon and like doesn't matter or whatever. And then I I made this stupidly long thread explaining it, and I don't think no one read this thread to be honest. So yeah. Also, is there a partner showcase right now? Yo. Uh, no. Okay. Cool. Anyways, so um, I just got back from class. Um, anyways, I tried to make a shim explaining it, and uh, before I went to class, I want to try to cut it down and make it uh, as digestible as possible. So that's why we're here. But Char uploaded a video today on his full analysis of the Side of the Fresh season trailers, and we're only 38 seconds in, and uh, oh, this this don't look right. Um, why doesn't it look right? Well, the blacks are all crushed. Um, you know, if I flip my uh, my screen to show my capture card here, uh, you can see that in the blacks, um, you know, next to the L button and stuff, there is a detail there. Um, yeah, you can see a little bit of gray and, you know, that, that side, that like, you know, some more detail there. Um, but, you know, if we go back to, uh, let me turn off my preview real quick. Uh, if we go back to um, this, th there's next to no detail. All the blacks are being crushed. Maybe if I squint really hard, I could see, like at the bottom, you can see a little tag right here. Um, and you can see the red up here and like a thing right here. But everything pretty much here looks cut off pretty, pretty well, um, at least on my side of things. And, you know, even if you looked at the preview file of this, you probably see the same thing. So that's good. Anyways, actually, nah, I need the display back. <laughs> so let's go through some settings on how to set things correctly. First, let's discuss OBS. If you're a content creator, here's the settings to use. So we're going to hop in the OBS settings. We're going to go to the advanced tab. And then you want to set your color range to limited. Your content should always always be unlimited. Um, don't know why, I'm just repeating what Epos Fox says, the, the stream professor. So, um, yeah. Uh, I think it's like mostly what, like a TV standard and a YouTube thing that they do. So, um, you always want your content unlimited. Most devices you work with are limited, and if they're not, I think you can convert it to limited. I mean, the Switch does it pretty well. So, uh, color space, Rec. 709, color format, NV12, Side note, if you want to work with HDR, you know, your color format is P010, color space, Rec. 2100 PQ, and then, yeah. But editing, that's a pain in the butt. You know, you can stream in HDR now on YouTube, but I digress. Um, but if you want to change that, you know, yeah. Also, what matters is other stuff. I'm not going to talk about it here. We're here to talk about block level. Um, and then the second thing is if I go to my capture card and hit properties, you'll see in here there's a bunch of settings. You probably want this set to, you know, whatever resolution you want to work with, 60 FPS, NV12, because that's the format that our OBS is going to work with as the output, so, you know, less work to convert. Um, rec, uh, rec 709 color space, because that's our color space to output in. And then your color range, and then uh, buffering you want turned off. And, uh, yeah. Color range, though, we're going to go through those today. So, let's flip back to the capture card, and I'll, uh, I'll do that for you. So, on the capture card, I'm going to flip my properties over from uh, default to limited. You can see the like, next to no change there, so that's cool. We're going to flip to full. You can see now, things look a bit different, don't they? I'm going to go back to limited, go back to full. So you can kind of see that the blacks got raised. You can see there's a little bit of a red sticker there on that on that left side now next to the L button. If I flip it from full to limited, you can kind of, you can still see it a little bit actually, which is what we want. Like you might look at that and be, ooh, that's not right, and then flip it back to limited. Uh, I think limited is the right way to go for this setup or for this these settings because um, you know we still see the details on the left side you know I showed you the other end of the spectrum of incorrect black level setting uh, where it's crushing and it doesn't look like we're crushing the blacks so that's good it's hard to tell I will say if you're on an OLED screen it is significantly easy to tell when things are incorrect compared to an LCD um, LCDs have a backlight so their version of pure black is a bit elevated so those grays that other, like, you know, the grays and the, the blacks here um, on this screen, um, you know, it's a bit harder to see the detail on an LCD compared to an OLED because of that. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, those are the difference on the capture card side of things on what you want. So, pretty much set your capture card to limited um, in OBS, but if I go to default, you'll see there's no change. I would say leave it on default then because you know, it'll automatically pick the right setting. And, you know, if you play Splatoon 1 on the Wii U, 
uh, the Wii U and like you know the Xbox One and Series systems, they work in limited range. Um, so you have to flip these settings around, and that's really annoying. So um, yeah, I would just leave it, set it to default. If your capture card knows what it's doing, um, in this case, then just then just do that. Up next is the Switch. I should have covered this first, but that's all right. So we covered everything in OBS. Let's cover the Switch because the Switch is an interesting device. Um, because most people will say to set it to auto and let it automatically pick the right value. That is bullshit in this case. Like on, on most systems, you can do it fine, um, but not in this one. So um, why do I say that? Well, at home, I have a LG C9 OLED TV, and I don't, that's not the flex, but it's because when I set it to auto, well, my screen went black there. But normally, if I flip the full range, uh, my screen doesn't go black at home, but but here it does. Uh, I'm on a gaming monitor right now, um, and it, it it supports full range, so it shouldn't do that, but it does. So that's why I say manually set it to full range. Um, yeah, the switch natively outputs full range, um, so set it to full range if you can. Limited is there if your display doesn't support it, but like 99% of displays will. TVs will mostly support full range, they will, and gaming monitors, if you're a re if it's a recent monitor, probably in like the past decade, it probably can. I'll show you the, the settings stuff to look for. So on the Switch, set it to full range. I'll let you know if you need to switch it back, so yeah. Now we're going to whip out the, the phone, so give me a quick sec to, oh shoot, it just switched over, hang on. All right, so sorry if there's a bit of uh, camera flickering or if there's a bit of lag or whatever. I'm, this is my phone. It's literally hooked up through a wire um, to 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 my computer um, to do this. So it's it's gonna be a bit jank. Anyways, so um, here, if I flip my thing to auto, you can see the screen goes black there, right? Um, that's not normal. Normally, it shouldn't do that. Um, on my at home, it doesn't. So set it to full range because normally it doesn't do that. Um, yeah, um, but pretty much, you know, if I go to auto, and then if I flip to limited, you'll see nothing changes. That's because auto is using limited when it should be using full. Um, why do I say this? The switch natively outputs full range, and if it sets to limited, it has to convert it. And with conversion can come errors. So we want to try to min we want to try to minimize the conversions from there's a sorry for that from the switch to the display so yeah um, full range also shows more colors than limited so that's a plus so let's hop into the game here or real quick let's look at our display settings How about that so we're on full on the switch so what you want to look for is some sort of black level setting here um, HDMI black level black level whatever color range you get the point Sorry for all of that camera flickering. I don't know why why that's happening. But, um, you know, we have high and low. So first off, I'm going to show you... Actually, I'm going to pause this real quick. All right, so hopefully this fixes the camera flickering. I plugged it directly into the computer, so we'll see how this goes. Um, if I go on my display here and we set the, the black level up incorrectly, so we're on high. That's the correct setting. Here, look at the game icon. I'm going to flip it to low. Immediately, you see blocks being crushed. I'm going to hop in the game here, and you can see all of this detail right here. Kind of, if the camera adjusts, it'll show it. Either way, if I flip to low, look, it's very, very minimal. I might have to turn off the lights to show you because we're, uh, we're on an LCD. Sorry for the, the flickering. Ah, can my headphones not unplug, please? All right, so now when we look, again, because LCDs have a backlight, I have to turn off the lights to show you. Now you can see all of the detail that's right here. Now, give me a sec to pull up the, the setting. Once I flip it to low, it all pretty much goes away. So that's a sign that your black level is set incorrectly. Now that seems pretty complicated to know. So let's hop over to Splatoon 2. Because there's a good test in Splatoon 2 as well that I want to show you. I might just uh, flip on the capture card. How about that? All 
I might just flip it on the on the display here real quick. Set it incorrectly. Yeah. A lot of people will set their displays to low on full range, thinking the colors pop more, when in reality you're crushing and killing your black levels. So first, there's the display looking correct. I'm gonna flip on my uh, webcam. There we go. So first thing, we're on the wrong setting, and you know colors pop a bit more if I uh, not input shoot. If we flip to settings, we flip over to the black level, and I flip to the right setting. You can see colors being changed, and it almost looks like things are popping a bit more. Like you can kind of see over here, things just be a little bit oversaturated, and it looks good, right? Um, but the black level detail is being. You can already see it in the ZL and ZR. Anyways, I'm gonna enter into the game. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm so sorry for the camera flickering, but yeah. Oh, speaking of, okay, yeah, it's working. Cool. So this is the right setting. What I want you to pay attention to is the top left of the TV. All right. Now I'm going to show you the wrong setting on the monitor and then we'll flip back to the right setting. Give me a quick sec to, to do that. There we go. All right. So now we're on the wrong black level setting. You can see up here, sorry for the green flickerings. You can see the difference there on the TV border. So you can see right here is the TV border, right? If we flip it to the low setting, uh, you can't really make out where that border is anymore. It's just it's just gone. So while Marina over here looks like her colors got, you know, well, the colors look oversaturated a bit, and you might think it looks good like this, you know? Because if you look at this and you look at that, doesn't doesn't this look better? But then you look at this, and you can't see the detail, like at all. So that's why high is the right setting. And a lot of people, including that S every two dude, I know you screw this up, um, get it wrong. Now, if I flip over here to uh, to OBS, now we don't have to deal with that <laughs> that green flickering. And we flip on our black level here. Because I'm working with the output um, color range of limited, the opposite of what the display is working with, or what the switch is outputting, I can, that's why it's different. Um, anywho, uh, if we flip the color range here to full, the opposite setting, you can see the blacks now get raised, like uh, significantly more, and this is incorrect. Whereas we go back to limited, things look a lot more normal. So that's really what that is. I don't know why there's a lag between um, limited and default, but there is. There's no difference in how it looks, though. Um, so yeah, I like to use this test for for things. Um, it's a lot easier to tell that TV border um, in Splatoon 2 compared to like Splatoon 3's menu icons and stuff. So um, yeah, and even like on the the home screen here, you know, I think I showed you earlier what it did. Um, give me a quick sec to flip things around. We're gonna flip it to full. You could just see things get raised. The the blacks on that Splatoon 3 logo um, look really. You can really differentiate them, um, but that's not that's not correct. Um, your blacks should look black, not gray. You know, if I pull up Metroid Dread real quick on um, on the wrong setting. Well, first off, here's a good look. See that black? It's supposed to look black like that, but it gets raised and looks gray. There's a good look at uh, at the wrong setting. Here, you know, that's right. That's wrong. You could just see the the gray in the background. Like, that's supposed to be black. Like that. So, that's kind of a good look at the wrong uh, black level setting. So, actually, you can see a bit more detail in the black, like in the background there. But, um, maybe that is the right setting then. I don't think it is, but, yeah. Because if we come over to my display here, let me uh, flip this on, go over to black level. See, we're on a high right now, and you can see I can't really see what's happening in that background. But if we set it to low, you can see it kind of cuts out the little bit of detail that we have back there. So yeah. And then, you know, if we flip it on the switch, here, I'm going to do this here. So we don't have to deal with that stupid green tint thing, uh, TV settings. If we flip 
this over to uh, limited range, right? My screen went black now. Oopsie. We're on the wrong setting now. You know, I go into here. Come on. Go in the black level, we're on high. We should have it on low. And you can see, I mean, maybe you can see a star there. I don't know if you saw that before, but other than that, yeah, like this is the wrong setting because your blacks are being raised. You might think it looks right because I can make out like this clear as day, but uh, your blacks don't look right. Sorry for the camera looking a bit weird. Whereas on um, on the capture card here, now this will automatically adjust and because we're working with the same black level, it's a bit different. Uh, you know, I set it to full. You can see it raises the black levels again. Okay, didn't know it would do that. Um, but yeah, if I set it back to auto, you can see it gets it right and sets it to limited. So, yeah. I'm just going to leave mine on default. But yeah. Um, and it should be set to limited because in the system settings here, we're working with um, a limited range. Normally, your um, RGB range on your switch should be limited, and your displays HDMI color range or whatever um, should be set to low. Limited, low, full, high. Kind of makes sense when you think about it. Full range is showing, you know, the full range of colors. So you want to show high the most amount of colors. Um, limited is showing you, you know, a little bit of colors. Um, it's it's compressing color, you know, it's, it's like 16 to something. I don't know the numbers. Um, so yeah, it's cutting off, especially like on the dark end. Um, so yeah, so that's why you say low for limited because you're displaying a lower number of colors. So yeah, especially on the lower end. But full range is what the switch outputs natively. So we're gonna set it to full. We're gonna set our display, um, our black level on our display, to high. And then on OBS, you know, all every all your content should be made in limited range. So stick with limited on OBS and your capture card. Um, your capture card most likely is, see the reason why every time I flip my black level setting and it was um, elevating the black level, it's probably because it was converting it automatically. Um, you know, if I run another video here with um, different black level settings, actually can I pause it and change my settings? I can't and I don't want to edit this, so um, yeah, if I make a second video with like the full range color, you probably will see things get crushed instead of brightened, but I don't know. I haven't tested it out, but yeah, so that's what to use. I showed you the anomalies, you know, what looks incorrect for the HDMI black level setting or, you know, RGB range, whatever. Um, yeah, so hopefully you don't do what uh, Prochara and what Dude does here. Actually, you can't even see my screen. Hopefully you don't do what um, Prochara and what Dude does right here. This is Prochara, where you can see right about here, all of this is being cut off in black level range, and it doesn't look good. Um, so yeah, like yeah, that's here. I can even do this. Um, set the actually I did it a bit earlier, but give me a quick sec to switch games. Wait, that's my phone. Give me a sec to hop back to that menu that Char was on. All right. Like, uh, get this set up right. Yeah. Like you can't tell me that this this is Chara's screen, right? And this is what I see, right? I wish I had two displays here to show you this easier. Here, I'll even split two if I can. Oh. I should have really uh shoot. Oh, 
okay, well, damn it. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to look at this. And I'm gonna have to quickly do this, huh? And look at that. And tell me they don't look the exact same. Like, come on. They, they, they do. Like... Oh, focus. Okay, maybe that is right. Because I'm not seeing the... the red. Like, at all. But but on Chara's screen, you can. So maybe, maybe it is right. I don't know, but you get the... What the heck is happening to this preview, man? But anyways, uh, that's my talk on black level. Sorry if um, it actually wasn't right <laughs> the whole time. And sorry for the camera uh, on my phone flickering like that. Um, that's what happens when you use your phone as a webcam with a Android. But yeah, is this actually the right black level? I don't think it is. But it's interesting how that, that red part on the left is showing while on my screen I don't see it at all. But anyways, hope you got something from this and enjoyed the the video. Let me make sure that the switch is set to set to full when I did that test. Um yeah, it was. Yeah. I don't know what Char was doing in that in that uh video, but um I don't think it's right. So but anyways, I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs>